Hi viewers and welcome back to my channel, tech to ai In the previous video, I showed you how to create an e-commerce website using AI without writing a single line of code. We used Manus AI to generate a dummy website just for demonstration. But since it was only a sample project, we didn't connect it to any domain or deploy it to real hosting. We simply left it there. This time though, I've taken things to the next level. I created a brand new website using AI again, but this isn't just a dummy site. This time, I've built my actual blogging website tailored specifically to my real world needs. And just look at it. The website turned out to be exactly what I had in mind. It has a smooth and clean UI, it's fully responsive, and comes complete with all key sections home, blog, AI tools, videos, and even a contact page. But the most surprising part? The AI tools page includes working tools like a file converter, image enhancer, and more, all built automatically into the same code by the new AI agent. All I did was give it a prompt saying, I want these tools integrated into the same site. And the AI handled everything, creating functional, responsive tools that actually work. Now let me be honest, this kind of task isn't easy. I had previously tried creating similar tools using ChatGPT and Manus AI, but I always ran into some issues. One feature would work, but another would break. But this new AI agent, it handled the entire task smoothly and flawlessly, like butter on toast. I'm seriously impressed by what this tool can do. And that's why I'm here today to share this amazing AI agent with you all. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you not just how I created this website, but also how to connect it to your custom domain and publish it live using hosting. So let's jump right into today's video. All right, now it's time to introduce you to the star of today's video our super AI agent. Just go to Google and type agent.minimax.io. Click on the very first link that appears and boom, you land here. This is Minimax agent. It's built and powered by the Minimax M1 model, an open source autonomous AI agent designed to handle even the most complex multi-step tasks with very little supervision. Let me quickly show you what makes Minimax Agent so powerful. It's not just about building websites. This AI can handle creative, educational, data-driven and even game-based projects all in one place. It can even blend fiction and web design. This is a beautifully designed project inspired by Tom Riddle's diary. A mix of storytelling, UI, and creativity, all generated by the AI. Next up, a professional looking law firm website. This one was generated just from a simple prompt. Layout, navigation, call to actions, all done. And yes, you can deploy it directly on your hosting just like I did. Now here's something for educators and learners. An interactive statistics course complete with quizzes, learning paths and visualizations. All built by Minimax in a single go. Here's a fun one, a fully working maze web game built by the agent in minutes. Imagine asking an AI to code a playable browser game from scratch and getting this in return. Minimax also supports multimodal tasks like this 20 page children's picture book. It generates both text and illustrations making it perfect for storytelling, kids apps and more.
Okay, to get started, let's first sign in. You can simply log in using your Google account. It's quick and easy. Now here's a great thing. When you sign up, Minimax gives you 1,000 free credits, which is usually enough for one or two simple tasks. But since the website I'm planning to build is a bit more complex, I went ahead and purchased 5,000 extra credits. Why? Because I want to generate multiple utility tools within my website. Tools like converters and enhancers. And I also plan to use Minimax for building two or three more AI-powered applications in the future. So I personally think investing in credits is totally worth it. Now let me show you something interesting. This section here is the chat interface. Just like ChatGPT or other large language models. You can upload your files, describe your task, and the AI will handle it for you. And here's the cool part. From this panel, you can connect to various MCP services like Figma, Slack, Notion, and GitHub, all directly from within the agent. Plus, Google Maps and Minimax integrations come pre-configured by default. Now to create my website completely from scratch, here's what I did. I opened Minimax chat and casually explained my website idea. I told it I wanted a modern layout, multiple sections, a blog, and even a few simple tools. Then I told it that once the website is generated, I want to connect it to my own custom domain and host it using my hosting service. So I need the code to be delivered in HTML, CSS, and JS format. In seconds, it gave me the exact prompt I should use. I copied that and switched over to the AI agent workspace. If you're interested, I can even share that prompt with you just to give you an idea of how to write your own. I pasted the prompt, hit generate. It started working. It'll take eight to 10 minutes. So I'll increase the video speed here. Agent has completed the current task. Let's open it in the browser and check. Honestly, what came out is amazing. It built the full structure, home, blog, contact, even the tool features I asked for. And it isn't just the layout. Everything is working. Every button, every page, all the tools. Fully responsive, looks beautiful on desktop and runs smoothly on mobile too. You have already seen the demo at the beginning of the video. As everything looks good, Let's download the files. Click on View Files. Now, to move forward, you can either download all the project files together or just the main zip file, which is the only one we actually need for the next step. If we check the credits usage, this task consumed 1,243 credits, and I still have 4,757 credits left. That's more than enough to complete additional projects, which is great. Now, it's time to connect our website to a custom domain and make it live. To do that, we'll need two things, a domain name and web hosting. For this tutorial, I'm using Hostinger, my preferred hosting provider, but you can use any service you're comfortable with. If you're planning to purchase a domain or hosting from Hostinger, I've included a link in the video description and pinned comment. If you buy through that link, you'll receive a special discount and I'll also get a small benefit. All right, let's go ahead and log into our Hostinger account. Once you're on the home page, this is what your hosting dashboard will look like. 
When you purchase hosting from Hostinger, you also get a free domain for life. So in my case, my domain and hosting are under the same account. Click on Websites, then go to the Website list. Here you will see all your active websites listed. Now I had already tried to create a site earlier, but I wasn't too happy with how it turned out. So I'm going to replace that one. You can also click Add Website to start a new one. Next, go to Tools. If you're deploying a WordPress based site, you'd use the WP admin panel. But here's the catch. The file format we generated with Minimax won't work directly with WordPress. It's not a theme package. It's raw HTML, CSS and JS files. So we'll stick with using Hostinger's file manager. Click on tools, then click file manager. In the file manager, click access files. You'll now see a folder called public underscore HTML. This is the root directory where your website files go. Open it. These files and folders belong to the site I created earlier using ChatGPT. But since I wasn't happy with it, I'm going to delete all of these except for the system files, the ones that are grayed out. In your case, if this is your first website, you might only see one or two default files in this folder, like this. You can go ahead and delete those too, but make sure to never delete the grayed out files. Those are important system files. Once you've done that, your public underscore HTML folder will be completely empty. Now go to the top right corner and click the upload button. Then choose files. Upload the zip file we downloaded earlier from the Minimax agent. Once uploaded, right click on the zip file and choose extract. Give the extracted folder a name. You can name it anything. I'm naming mine temp. Now inside this new temp folder, you'll see another folder named after your website. In my case, it's tech to ai Open it. Now here's what we need to do. We want to move all the files from inside this folder into the main public HTML directory. I tried using copy paste, but that didn't work. If it works for you, great, go ahead and use it. So instead, I'm going to open the tech to ai folder, select all the files inside it, right click and choose move files. Now in the pop-up, select the folder icon with three dots at the top. This points to the parent directory where the temp folder is located. Click move. Now all files from tech to ai are moved up one level into the temp folder. The tech to ai folder is now empty. Go ahead and delete it. Now repeat the process again. Open the temp folder, select all the files, click move files, and this time select the public HTML folder because the temp folder itself is inside public HTML. Click move. Now all your website files are finally inside the public HTML directory. You can now delete the temp folder. And if you want, you can also delete the original zip file because we've already extracted everything from it. We don't need it anymore. That's it. Now go to your web browser, type in your domain name. In my case, it's tech2aihub.com and hit enter. Boom. Your AI generated website is now live and linked to your own domain. Let's quickly test it with the www prefix too. Perfect, the website is working flawlessly. Now it's time to personalize it. I'll remove the dummy posts and replace them with my real content. I also plan to sync it with my YouTube channel. Once everything is ready, I'll share the live link in the description and pinned comment. So be sure to check it out. On this website, you'll find all my YouTube videos in blog format, along with troubleshooting tips, new AI tools, and updates related to the world of AI. So don't forget to visit. You might find something really helpful for yourself. If you found this video useful, please leave it a like. Share it with your friends and family. And if you haven't yet, 
subscribe to the channel for more such AI tutorials and tools. Thanks a lot for watching till the end. Mm -hmm.